In this video, I am going to show you the K1 Live sound card connected to a PC or a laptop or a computer for Zoom conference or a meeting. And for testing, I will be using this condenser microphone and this phone over here, I'll be using this as our participant for the Zoom meeting. Without further ado, let's get started. And now let's start the connections, which is very, very simple. You only need this three cords on here. So of course this one is for the condenser microphone. So let's connect this one right away. So over here, just uh, connect this one like that. And then the other end, you just connect to the mic on here. So just select, uh, just select which port you want to connect. So there are two ports here for mic. So just, just select one and then this headset. So you will need this one to monitor the audio. And I will be connecting this one to the one that says headset right there. And then lastly is this cord. So this is the micro USB to USB type A and this normally comes when you purchase a K1 Live sound card. So again, it looks uh, like that. So the micro USB goes here, the one that says five volt uh, charging. And then the other end is to the USB port of this uh, laptop or uh, PC. Just locate the USB uh, port of this uh, laptop, which is over here. Okay, so there you go. And now we're all set. Okay, and let's now turn on this one here. Just hold two to three seconds. Okay, there you go. Okay, and now let's uh, get started. So as you noticed on here, I already signed in. Uh, again, the computer would be the host of this uh, Zoom meeting. And uh, this one here is, uh, so it's not connected to anything. Uh, this is gonna be our uh, participant. Let's just lower the volume for now from this uh, device. Okay, so of course, as a host, you will start the meeting. So let's uh, tap this one, new meeting. Okay, and of course you have to tap or click that, join with computer audio. And we can maximize this one, something like that. Okay, and uh, for the other participant to join, of course, uh, from here, the one that says participant, just uh, click that and then hit invite. And then the code, the meeting ID should be on here. So let's join from this device here. Okay, so the ID is uh, right there. And then uh, the password is just located over here and it is uh, case sensitive. And then continue. Okay, there it is. So they are now uh, connected Wi-Fi or cellular data. Let's uh, tap that. Okay, so this is now our participant and this is uh, our host. From here, just make sure that this K1 Live sound card is connected to this laptop or computer. So what you do is go to the one uh, that says uh, video over here. So arrow up, tap that and go to video settings. And from here, go to audio. So select audio and here just make sure that it is connected. This one is connected to your computer. So make sure a speaker is selected to MV Silicon B1 USB audio. And then your microphone is also set as this one. So MV Silicon B1 USB audio and get out from there. I'm going to turn the volume from here. Let me turn it up now so you can hear it as well. Okay. okay. There it is. So the audio that you can hear right now is uh, from over here. So other than me talking, so I believe you can hear also the audio coming from this uh, participant. And that is now using with this uh, microphone. Okay. Okay, so let's start uh, from up here. So the treble, middle, and low, it's up to you if you want to uh, uh, test uh, whichever is your preferred uh, audio. So normally the treble, um, it's up to you if you want to turn it up, maybe maybe at one o'clock, and then the middle, I normally would put it in the middle, and then the low is more of a bass. 
So it's up to you if you want a more bass, then turn it up, or if you do not want bass, then turn it to the left. Okay, and uh, now for the dodge uh, button on here, you can use this one also while doing your uh, Zoom uh, meeting. To use this one, you have to use it together with the dodge button uh, down below. Okay, so let's uh, give it a sample right away. So let's, uh, let's open a sample uh, YouTube song from here. So let's uh, play this one. Okay, and by the way, the volume of your background music should be from here, from this K1 Live sound card, the accompaniment, and also from this uh, laptop or computer. Okay, so let's try it again. Okay, so if you want it more louder, then turn it this up over here. Okay, so let's say for example, uh, we're good at this one. So now if I'm going to turn the dodge, okay, now as I am talking, as you notice, you could hardly hear the background music. And if I'm going to stop talking, okay, there it is again. By the way, you can use just the dodge alone or uh, both this dodge button as well as the dodge volume knob. Okay, so now if we are going to use both of them, dodge button here and the dodge volume knob over here. So what it does is as you turn the volume knob up from here, your background music should uh, kicks in right away if it's at low here. If it is on high, so if we're going to turn this up something like that, maybe at three o'clock. So there is a gap first before your background music kicks in. Okay, let me show you. So again, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, so Dutch is turned on and if we're going to play this song or instrument, Okay, so it is now playing and it's just, uh, the volume is just lower because I am talking. And if I'm going to stop talking, okay, there it is. Now, if I'm going to turn the volume knob up from here, maybe at three o'clock, you will notice when I stop talking, there is a gap before the background music kicks in. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking now. Okay, so I hope you notice that little gap before the background music starts again. So if I'm going to turn this up, up to the max, okay, I'm gonna be talking and then I'll stop. Okay, so again, as you notice, there is a gap uh, before the music starts again. Okay, if, again, if I am going to turn this at uh, zero or at the very low uh, volume right there, you will notice that when I stop talking right now uh, with this volume at zero or at the very low right there, the background music will kick in right away when I stop talking. Okay, I'm going to stop talking now. Okay, there it is. Now let's pause our background music and uh, let's uh, turn off the dodge. Okay, now uh, the balance right there. The balance uh, that is if you're going to connect two speaker, uh, the one that has left and right, but I don't think you'll be using that in a Zoom meeting, not unless you, you are in a conference room and you wanted uh, other people to hear that as well. Uh, but uh, most of the time for Zoom conference, doing, uh, using a headset would be uh, ideal. And uh, I'm loud over here, that is uh, for change uh, the voice. Okay, so uh, um, over here, you will notice there is also a voice changer uh, on here. So let's start from here, so from male. So male is like that, and then female is like this, baby, uncle, and robot. So aside from this voice changer on here, you can also use this uh, volume knob up there. If you do not want to press this button on here, you can just use the, the one over here, The it's um loud. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but anyway, so let's give it a try. So as I turn this up, maybe at nine o'clock, then your voice should be like that. Then at 12 o'clock, your voice is like that. At three o'clock, your voice is like that. And then the maximum, your voice is like that. Okay, let's uh, turn it back uh, to uh, zero. 
and the light here is just your keypad light over here the sound volume knob over here is if you connect an external a speaker maybe a portable speaker that is the use of, of this volume knob on here next one here so microphone of course this is your um, the microphone volume of whatever you connected to this k1 live sound card and the specific volume slider over here this is for your uh, presets uh, built in uh, special sound effects on here like for example minion go co okay so let's uh, start let's try with a minion Okay, so you will not hear it, even your participant will not hear it because your volume here is at zero. So if I'm going to turn it up, maybe somewhere there, uh, your participant and you should be able to hear it. Okay, and let's try go. Okay, and coming, and song. Okay, and cheer, and awkward, aggregate. And crow. Okay, so I will not be testing all of it because it's pretty much the same anyway. So again, that is, uh, you can use them while you're doing your Zoom conference if you have to use them. So again, uh, it will only work if uh, the volume slider here under specific is turn off. Okay, so let's uh, lower it now. Okay, so the echo, it's up to you if you want to use some echo. So let's say, for example, I'm going to select Encore. And Encore has a little bit of the reverb or echo. But if you want to add more, you can by just uh, turn moving this up. So something like that, sound check, testing one, two. So let's lower it back, uh, turn it back again. And the so the Encore the, has a little bit of reverb only compared to the Even My. Even My has a little bit more reverb compared to Anchor. Okay, sound check testing one two. And then now if we're going to try the MC, so MC has uh, uh, for me it has more of reverb compared to the Even My and Anchor. And okay, let's turn it off. Let's go to. Uh, uh, beautify over here beautify will not have uh, uh, effect or reverb unless you turn your echo up over here so if we're going to turn uh, test it soundtrack testing one two so your participant uh, will hear you uh, just like that it's like flat no effect or reverb okay so if you want to put some reverb on it using the beautify uh, option then you have to turn this up the echo soundtrack testing one two so something like that okay now let's uh, try the uh, auto tune the auto tune is uh, uh, effect to your vocals so maybe this is good for singing okay let's uh, give it a sample okay so something like that your it's like robotic sound and as you keep pressing it, it keep changing. Sound check, testing one, two. And then the next one, sound check, testing one, two. Okay, so let's, uh, let's uh, turn it off now. Okay, and uh, now let's go to the uh, even my. Let's say for example here. So as you notice, it has effects already, even if the echo is is at zero. As I mentioned earlier, the anchor even may and MC has its own built-in uh, reverb, uh, uh, presets reverb. So uh, even if this one has a reverb already, and even if uh, let's say for example, beautify, you, we selected beautify, and then and then the echo is on high if you are going to uh, press the dry uh, automatically your vocals will be flat or without any effect or reverb so let's give it a try sound check and i'm going to press the dry right now and there you go so no more reverb no more effect if you press the dry even if the echo here is uh, on high or even if you select even my or mc Okay, so something like that. Okay, let's uh, turn it off now. Okay, and uh, the volume here, of course, this is the main, your main volume. And then the monitor here, this is the volume of whatever headset or headphone you connected to this uh, K1 Live uh, sound card. And then the record volume knob here, I normally uh, turn this up all the time, uh, especially if you're doing your uh, streaming uh, or uh, recording. So it's, it's to be in a safe side, make sure to turn this up all the time, not unless you're just doing 
doing a karaoke at your home, then you don't need to turn it up. But for recording, streaming purposes, uh, just make sure to turn this uh, high all the time. And again, as I mentioned earlier, the accompaniment that is your background music connected to this K1 Live sound card. So that's the volume for that. Okay, and I will not be teaching you how to uh, to set the custom uh, sound effects. I have uh, uh, previously uploaded a video on all the buttons on here, so maybe I'll just uh, uh, add a link under the description. Okay, so uh, now let's uh, start from here. So the denoise, denoise is good if, for example, your surroundings is uh, noisy. Let's say, for example, if there is a fan going on, so it's best to uh, turn on the denoise uh, button here because it somehow uh, eliminates uh, the background noise. Not 100%, but at least it eliminates a little bit. And uh, but uh, on the other hand, if you're if you are in a quiet area and you're doing your meeting or recording, uh, might as well uh, turn it off. So something like that. Okay. Now let's go to the next one, the silencer. The silencer is like elimination for other type of sound cards. So which means if you turn this on, if you are playing a song that has vocals, if you want to sing along with it, it somehow remove the the um, vocals and then it turns into a karaoke song okay let's give it a try let's open a youtube song on here okay so this one let me show you first that this one has vocals okay let's play this one okay okay so as you notice it has vocals and now if we're going to uh, turn on this silencer okay i'm gonna play this one now Okay, and I'm going to uh, turn on the silencer and we'll try to sing along with it. Okay, I'm going to turn it on now. Okay, there you go. So as you notice, the volume is somehow removed and you can sing along with it. Tikibang hinaing ng kalooban La ang pag-asa dito sa mundo Naghahanap lingap at saklolo Okay, so let's stop it from there. So again, as you notice, if the silencer is turned on, it turns into a karaoke song even if it has uh, vocals but again it's not that great but if that is your only option then feel free to do that okay so now let's uh, go to the next one okay let's try the introversion the introversion is uh, so it's something like this right now we're doing a live streaming or zoom meeting from this laptop and at the same time the background music is coming from this laptop so if you turn this on what will happen is your participant will not be able to hear the music you are playing so only you as a host can hear it but not your participant okay let's turn this up uh, uh, same uh, music right now okay so as you notice uh, it's uh, playing right now okay if I'm going to turn this uh, on Okay, so you can hear it right now from here, from the participant. Okay, if I'm going to turn it on right now, there you go. So uh, it's uh, turned on right now and I can only hear it, but not the participant. As you notice, it's still playing over there and I can only hear it. Now let's try the... Um, Bluetooth uh, function on here. So let's say, for example, we are going to uh, connect another device. Let's say, for example, you want to connect a background music not from this, uh, not from this uh, computer. Let's say, let's say another device. Okay, let's give it a try. Let's use this other device on here. So to connect them is uh, very uh, simple to use the Bluetooth function over here. So just go to the settings on here. So it's, it could be it could be a tablet or an iPad or another phone. So just go to the Bluetooth uh, setting. OK, 
Okay, so the K1 is already here because I connected this one already earlier. So turn on the Bluetooth uh, button on here. And then, okay, so it's connected right away because I just connected this one earlier. Okay, now let's go out from here and let's go to uh, YouTube. Okay, so let's try to use this uh, song here. And now this uh, song from YouTube will be connected to this uh, K1 Live uh, sound card. So if we're going to play this one, Okay, there you go. So that's uh, that's uh, what it sounds like. So for the volume uh, control, so you can control it again from here, the accompaniment, and also from the device itself. So let's say for example, okay, so it's not yet at the max volume on here. So it's somewhere there, but it's up to you if you want to, to uh, if, if you want your uh, background music to be more louder. So turn it up from here and you can turn it up also from, from here, the accompaniment. Okay, let's uh, give it a little uh, sample. So again, this one is connected to uh, here uh, using the Bluetooth. But if you want to connect it using a cable, use the TRS cord together with this cord that we attach. And this normally comes in a package. Connect uh, one end here to the audio jack from here and then connect it to the music at the back of this uh, K1 Live sound card. But of course, it's easier uh, to connect them using Bluetooth, so less wire or cable to connect. And now let's give it a little sample let's to sing in a Zoom meeting. Okay, let's play this uh, song on here. And again, you can control the volume from here or from there. I was wrong when I hurt you Did you have to hurt me too? Did you think revenge will make it better? Okay, there you go. So as you notice, it did work. And now let me give you a sample singing while in a Zoom meeting. So we'll be using the same minus one or karaoke song over there and you will notice this time the device for the participant is no longer beside me because i have placed it away from me on the window of the other room as if you are doing an actual uh, zoom meeting with the other uh, people let me just give you a short sample and since we're going to sing so it's best to have a effect or reverb on it so let's uh, select even my sound check so something like that okay so let's now uh, play this song i was wrong when i hurt you did you have to hurt me too did you think revenge will make it better and that's all I can share for today. Thanks again, guys, for watching. If you like this type of videos, please give it a like. And if you want more of this video, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you are always updated for all the upcoming videos I will be posting. Keep safe and until next time.